welcome back to Open Everyone. What happens when, uh, well, artificial becomes real? Well, our next guest decided to create Anna Adore, a sci-fi drama film highlighting the mistreatment of women told through the life of an android and its owner. Let's take a peek of the film, Anna Adore. Joining us to tell us more about the film, please welcome writer and director Adam Gonzalez, along with lead actors of the film, Bianca Haley and Mark Rain. Hello and welcome. Hey, good morning. Congratulations, Adam. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm happy that we, we're having you on again. Um, the work that you've been producing lately has been really um, hopeful for us Latinos and having a voice within the, um, the American fabric, right? Um, this new adventure that you've chosen to take is really interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Because everything nowadays is Alexa, Alexa, move out the way, Alexa, <laughs> we got Anna. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly the same context, but the point is, is that you cast all Latino and this is a sci-fi film. So let's talk a little bit about the inspiration behind that. Yeah, so um, the movie, uh, sci-fi drama, right? So uh, it touches on like just how women are treated in all different facets. And in this case, um, you know, Anna is an actual object and, you know, it touches on how women are treated as such. And, you know, without being too like in your face about it, it also kind of just talks about like the technology behind it and just kind of like the, the relationship between like a man and machine, but then also between men and women. Uh, the, the leads that we have over here, right? We, we're, we have lead Latino actors. Uh, but then we also just have a great diverse supporting cast as well. So it's a nice mix of people and just overall it's just a, a different way to kind of talk about something that's relevant. So, so um, what I also love about your films, um, because we had you on not too long ago uh, yeah. for the film In Bain, yeah. is that you always put women in, in the forefront. Yeah. Um, so I appreciate that about <laughs> you. I have a question for you, my dear. Sure. What was that like? Uh, preparing to be act as a droid I mean that's a challenging role yeah it was very challenging but it was so much fun because she grows so much throughout the film so she's not just an android there's more to her so it was just fun to explore that and just create a character out of her I know and and I get it I, you know it's kind of poetic in a sense right because she is an object mm -hmm. right or a machine per yeah. se and treated like an object and so the idea is you know, referencing how women could sometimes be treated as objects. Yeah. 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 Right. And so, Mark, mm. Mm. you're the one with the love interest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's well, talk about your love, character maybe. and his issues. <laughs> oh, man. You know, this was so exciting for me uh, to be a part of this because the message of the film really resonates with me. You know, um, and it was actually fun to kind of step into a space that I don't. I don't go. I don't. I don't I'm, I'm not ab about, you know, um, assaulting women or, you know, this level of mistreatment. <clears throat> and so, it was. Uh, it was challenging, you know, because I never had to kind of be this physical with uh, an actress on set, 
you know, for a film, but, you know, I take every challenge as a, as a new exciting opportunity. All right, so your character, though, your character had a breakup of some sort, right? Yeah. And so um, is it safe to say that there's also some mental consciousness uh, that is messaging, is part of the message in this film? Yeah, I mean, we, we kind of touch on, like, distractions of, like, technology and then just, um, you know, like, the how he deals with the breakup, but in kind of, like, today's world. And then he's presented an opportunity that would seem like a fix-all, um, but he kind of still goes about it the same way, and then repercussions happen. <laughs> right, that's it. We can't give away the whole thing. Yeah. You guys got to go right. see it. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I know, I'm like digging and I'm yeah. distracting. I'm like, well, the thing yeah. about it is, is that it's very fascinating. Um, the message within the film, but also the way you shot the film, because while you're saying the idea is to bring into light the distractions of the technology and electronics, you shot this on an iPhone. Yes. So the, the entire movie was shot using an iPhone. I had a other couple of like, you know, gear that goes along with it, but um, that in itself presented its opportunity and challenges. Um, but it was something that I've kind of always wanted to do. It's, it's something that I just kind of wanted to also prove that if you want to go make a movie, like you don't have to get like fancy cameras and all this stuff. Like as long as you have a great story and you just kind of learn the basics of like composition and lighting and and you get great actors and, and a good cast and crew, um, you can almost use anything to make a movie. So I almost also, almost didn't want to tell people that, but then I kind of felt like it was also important to start talking about it now. So Well, it's inspirational, yeah. and, and obviously, for me anyway, it's, kind of, it's clear yeah. that you're about the film. Yeah. You're about the storytelling, mm -hmm. and I think it's important for, for people to understand that. Yeah. Uh, just because you do have the equipment doesn't mean that you're necessarily into the storytelling. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, even though you have the fancy equipment, too. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> I, I found that to be very interesting. Yeah. And it's somewhat poetic if you think about it, yeah. right? Because yeah. you're talking about electronics, and yet you're mm -hmm. using electronics to yeah. uh, basically <laughs> create this yeah. whole production. So yeah. very fascinating. So, Bianca, mm -hmm. um, there's something about your eyes. I, I can <laughs> totally see why you cast her as such. Um, playing this character... Is, was there something that you learned from it as a woman within today's society? Definitely. I think also going into it, I wanted to be really authentic because I'm a woman growing up in my generation and in society now. Um, I just wanted to do it justice, you know, but I did learn. I got angry at it a couple times because it's just like it's what's really happening and like sometimes we don't realize like, wow, this is the world we live in. So I got angry a lot. You know, but I also was proud of it because I feel like we're representing women. You know, well, I got the opportunity to represent women, and I just hope that a woman out there sees it and they just resonate with it and they feel inspired by it, you know? Yeah, I, I wanted to make sure we ended on that note because it, it's, it looks really, really interesting, yeah. and I'm very proud of you. Oh, and thank so you. if you could just share with everyone because I know you're going to have your screening. Yes, Whoop. so Sunday, October 20th at 8 o'clock, uh, we're going to have our screening premiere at the Pelham Picture House in Pelham, New York. So uh, you can buy tickets online at the, at the box office, we're, and you can follow us at Gilded Harbor. You can get tickets there, too. So At Gilded Harbor? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you all for being here. Congratulations yeah, once you. again. <laughs> and siguen pa'lante. Yes, <laughs> Latino <laughs> sci-fi ahora. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. You guys, the upcoming premiere once again and screening of Anna Adora will take place on October 20th at the Picture House Theater in Pelham, New York, starting at 8 p.m. For tickets, please visit gildedharbor.com. We have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll hear about a cultural festival taking place in the Bronx you don't want to miss.